Hello. I made a video, video a little while ago um, showing some use of the iNav Clean Flight Rewrite or Clean Flight iNav Rewrite fork that's uh, under active development at the moment. And the point of the previous video was to encourage people who might not have heard of it or might not have tried it to take a look and give it a try if you are thinking of building a um, sort of a autonomous minded quad. Um, so that's what I was doing and I'm using a different quad here. This one uh, gives me a lot longer flight time with larger batteries and stuff so it's been quite good for testing this. Um, and at the end of that video I had some problems but got the GPS problems sorted out now. I haven't balanced these props today so and it's a bit windy. So um, I don't think we'll see quite the stable position hold that we had before but it's not losing any satellites anymore and it just stays um, stays in the air <laughs> in the right place for basically the entire flight now. I can actually get 24 minutes out of that battery in the current weight. There's no no camera or anything on there of course but that's uh, just under 1200 grams and I get 24 minutes off of 5200 3S. Anyway, uh, the other thing that I have on here that I'm going to have a look at today is using the Easy GUI uh, ground station app for Android and that's why I have this Bluetooth thing on here. So before we even take off Let's have a look at that, because, okay, um, this app, if you have not already heard of it, um, I'm guessing most people would have, but um, let's just open it up here. So I'm going to connect to the quad, which is there, and we can look at various things. Um, you can check pretty much everything you can see in the clean flight configurator you can do on here. There's some things you can't do but not much. Um, and I'm going to look at trying some waypoints today so let me just open the mission planner and I tried uploading a mission while the quad was flying now that I'm confident to let it do position hold without keeping an eye on it the whole time um, but uh, it doesn't seem like you can upload the mission while the quad is already taken off. So um, I'm going to upload this before we take off. And it's a little bit sunny. I can't actually see anything in there. Can't actually see anything on my screen. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to put a few waypoints around. So we'll start over by the tree, and then we'll go over there. That's a few too many, isn't it? Well, we can get rid of this one. Uh, so this one, I wanted to go, excuse me, it's a bit sunny, I can't see my screen that well. But we'll put this back there. So waypoints one and three are just above that tree over there. Oh, actually waypoint three is a little bit behind it. Waypoint one is kind of close to the tree there. And then it should go over towards that direction and then back to the tree again. So there's just the three waypoints in this mission. And then we go to the top left and we do upload mission. Uploading and that's it. So, oh, let's watch on the map. And then we can see, oh, where was it zoomed out? Where are we? There we are. Actually, sorry, I think we want to, yeah, let's look on the mission planner. We should be able to see the waypoints that we have, and we can see how the quad moves between them. So n normally I would use this app in the uh, portrait configuration, but since I'm going to be uploading this video to YouTube, I'll make it landscape for you guys to have a, hopefully, a little bit better view of it. All right, we should be ready to do a mission now. So, now so that's designed. just position hold now position hold. for the moment. So you can see the wind sort of messes with it a little bit. It's not not too windy right now. 
Nav alt hold is off. Nav partial hold is Just off. Just do a quick return to home. So I flipped in, into WP is on. Going return to, to home there. One. Going to waypoint two. Oh, oh no, no, sorry. Because of my switches are set up this way, it's doing the waypoints already. Oh well, let, <laughs> let's just watch it do the waypoints. That's going waypoint to two. Waypoint three. Should be moving at six meters per second, I think. Mission finished. Okay, so the, the last waypoint was not quite over the tree, but the first one was, I think. So I can switch back into position hold mode now. Well, it's kind of doing a position hold anyway, but if I switch it back into the normal position hold, that will Nav reset WP my mission status. To position hold. So now if I put it back into mission mode again, or waypoint mode, it should go to the first waypoint, which is a little bit to that, to this, to the right. Nav WP is on. Going okay, to waypoint one. Almost Going in the same place, two. but you should be able to see that it moved to the right a little bit before it went over there. Going oh, to waypoint kind of three. And back to mission finished. Waypoint three. And at the moment, there's no. Um, at the end of the mission, even if we were to bring it back to home, it doesn't land on the last waypoint. So that's why I've got my switches set up to do on this switch. I can do a return Nav to home. Nav is on. Nav WP at is the end. off. And, Going uh, to home position. And then we can watch the return to home. That's home. The orange. Landing is in progress. Landing is in progress. And it doesn't it doesn't turn the motors off. Although it does spin them down quite a lot, so so at that point I usually just turn the throttle down. Um, is so it's uh, a about a meter and a half, uh, well, meter and a quarter Nav maybe, RTH maybe yeah, meter and a half or so away from the home point. And uh, since I got that GPS problem sorted out, basically it's just that's what it does over and over and over. No, no problems, um, no issues to report this time. So um, isn't that easy? So one of these days I'm gonna fly it out to that hill there hopefully, oh that hill over there, and uh, I want to test <coughs> test how this radio can handle the distance uh, at least with a clear line of sight. I'm, I'm expecting it should go pretty far without any issues, but even if it does now I have a nice reliable dependable return to home feature that I can use to bring it back if something goes wrong. Anyway, that's all I have for today, thanks for watching.